Yo, did you hear Elijah Cummins die? He did. I just heard this this morning. I was surprised he died. He didn't look like he was dying. Right. <laughs> that was a shocker. And then I remember you putting him in that uh, promo thing. Right. Uh, <laughs> speak up, man. Isn't that what he said? He says, uh, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> I guess so. And he was 38 years old. I mean, not 38, 68 or oh, 68 or 69 years old. He looked older than me. I thought he was older. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't did. that amazing? He did. This guy is one of the guys that went against the Great White Hope, right? Because he was a junkyard, um, a junkyard uh, um, councilman, right? Wasn't he a, a councilman? Uh, I'm not sure. He was something. He was a representative of Baltimore, but I don't know how he represented him. But I think he was a city councilman or governor or something. And um, he was a U.S. representative, but he was a junkyard U.S. representative. Uh. I'm surprised he did. He did. I didn't know he was dying when he beat myself. Right. <laughs> so, uh, according to Fox News, oh, he's a congressman. How come it's just so long to find that out <laughs> this morning? They went through everything but congressman, and they put congressman last. <laughs> now I understand. So, according to Fox News, Elijah Cummins, dead, he dead at 68. Elijah Cummins died early this morning after batter, bat, battling health problems. Here's the soundbite. Maryland Congressman and House Oversight Chairman Elijah Cummings has died. He passed away at Johns Hopkins Hospital just before 3 o'clock this morning from, from long-standing health challenges. He's been out of Congress since last month after an unknown medical procedure. He was supposed to return to office earlier this week. Cummings has been representing Maryland's 7th Congressional District since 1996. He was 68 years old. That's amazing. He dead. And what happens when you mess with the great white hope? Don't mess with God's children. Don't mess with God's children. So the headlines are describing him as powerful orator. That means he had a big mouth. Mama mouth. A powerful speaker. They all priests like. You know how those blacks go into the preaching mode, right? Obama did that. Michelle does that. Big Mama Michelle. But may his soul rest in peace. But don't mess with the great white hope. You see what happens. Come on, man. <laughs> may his soul. He's, he look older than 68, though, huh? Yeah. 80. Maybe 88. <laughs> 90. Can I get an amen? 91. And if you notice, John McCain, he did. Charles Krauthammer, Krauthammer he did. And Elijah Cummins, no, he did. They all didn't like the Great White Hope. They went against him. They talked about him. Now they all did. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I want you to notice how even the— uh, the conservatives are going to be praising this guy, Eli, uh, not Eli, Elijah Cummins, as somebody wonderful and powerful. Well, we all know he was a liberal hater. He hated the president. The, the, the neighborhoods that he represented, uh, ghettos, he was worth nothing. Selfish, white-hated man. And white, he'll be praised as good. They're not going to tell the truth about him. They lie at funerals. If you ever want to hear some good lies, go to a funeral. They can know you were no good, a bad example why you lived. But when they go to the funeral, oh, he was just so wonderful. He was so powerful. He was a civil rights leader. He was never a civil rights leader. He was not raised in the South, by the way. 
So, but watch how all the lies come out about Elijah Cummins, even from the conservatives, from the Christians. Oh, he was just so wonderful. No, he wasn't. He was an evil, nasty man. He was a son of Satan. A son of Satan. But they're not going to say that. They're going to pretend that he was wonderful. He was not. He hated Donald Trump with a passion. He hated the great white hope with a passion. And he hated white people. Elijah Cummins was no good. Come on, man. 